Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the August 2022 reading for the zodiac sign of Virgo. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages they receive as well as the meaning of the tarot cards. I do, however, recommend you check out your sign, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this month. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post future videos. Uh, but with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. In column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close. Column number two, we are going to just take a general look at August. We're also going to do a money column, a love column, and in the fifth and final column, we're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. We're also going to do three yes or no questions, a healing note, and a crystal of the month for you. Let's see here. Pulling a summary card for the last few weeks or month. What's wrapping up and coming to a close? We have the card clarity. We love the clarity card no matter where we see it. The more clarity we have in life, the better. So I'm glad that there has been a few moments of clarity for you, Virgo, in these last few weeks. Let's see what messages I have here for you. The first card that we have is the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is a card of having to make a decision. Anytime we have two of something on a card, um, it is an indicator of a decision. So definitely a decision has come up for you these last few weeks. I'm glad that there was clarity before a decision. That's always nice. Um, so I do think likely you were able to make a very thoughtful decision. I will say one thing about the Two of Swords though is sometimes this decision feels like a compromise. Maybe... You want path A, but only path B and C are options. Of course, we're going to clarify and see. The next card that we have is the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is one of those cards that has a lot of meanings. Um, in this case, it does seem to be worry. Um, some of you could have been feeling kind of sick the last few weeks, too. This could be a card of feeling sick or being ill. Um, so some of you could have had a cold or just not been feeling your best. But it does seem to be there's something you've been worried about. At the bottom we have the King of Swords. The King of Swords is a very intentional card. Um, again, that clarity allowed you to be very intentional for your decision, which I like to see that. Um, but it's also strategic. So this is long-term type energy. I hope that you know by now... Uh, Virgo, and if you don't, I'm going to tell you that it doesn't seem like you made the right decision. Long term, you made the appropriate decision, even though this was something you were definitely worried about with that Five of Pentacles. Let's clarify and see what other messages we have here. The first clarifier we have is the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is a very gossipy card. Um... It's a card of like almost water cooler talk, drama, gossip. There does seem to be some talking related around this or chatter related to this decision. Um, I feel like people are watching your decision too with the Page of Swords. It's oftentimes like prying eyes type energy. So I feel like no matter what you decided, somebody was going to criticize it either way. The next card that we have is the Three of Swords. Again, it really seems like some of you have not been feeling well. Both of these can be surgery cards as well or illness cards. The nice thing is this is energy that's in the past. So if you haven't been feeling the best, hopefully going in August, you'll be feeling a lot better. Um, but some of you, whether it's physically or mentally, just seem to be off your game these last few weeks. Then at the bottom here, we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant is a very um, traditional card. It's a card of convention. Um, this could also be a card, though, of expectations. And I think we can agree that this decision maybe wasn't exactly what you wanted it to be. Again, it felt like it was a compromise. But in the long run, this is going to end up being the right thing. And it's actually going to exceed your expectations. We have the Hierophant. That's a lot of exceeding expectation um, energy. So... Interesting last few weeks, but I do think it's going to play out well for you. Now we're going to take a look at our next column, which is just general what's coming for August. We have the card Unity. Unity is always good. Unity, balance, harmony, those are all things that we love. 
with unity this is about being connected to your inner self this is about being connected to those around you this is about being connected to the earth um unity is a good card though good feelings i like to see that framing up for you for august let's see what other messages we have though virgo the first card that we have is the eight of pentacles the eight of pentacles is a card of mastering your craft, enjoying your employment. This is very much so a card of hard work. It could be that work smarter, not harder energy as well. But when I see the Eight of Pentacles, this is also a card of like, yes, you are working hard, but you're going to be reaping the benefits of your hard work. Um, so your hard work is going to be paying off. Um, so I like to see that all the time. We like to see our efforts going to good use and benefiting us. The next card that we have is the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is uh, very nurturing, very healing, very supportive. It's important with this cup card, if you look at this cup, it's not even really a cup, it's a trophy. And you need to remind yourself, Virgo, that you are the trophy and that you are taking care of you. Um, so this is a good time for self-care. Um, be nurturing, be healing, be supportive of yourself, taking good care of you going into August. At the bottom here, we have the Devil card. The Devil card is a card of greed, envy, materialism. Um, it could be obsession. A lot of times this is like hyper-focused on something. There's something we're giving too much attention to. When I see this card, this can also be an indicator to, to budget or be thoughtfully spending. Like sometimes we start spending so much money and we're like, oh, why did I even buy that type of energy? I'm gonna clarify that for you too. Oops, apparently you can have those both together there. So I have two clarifying cards for our Eight of Pentacles. The first one being the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card of stress, exhaustion, having lots of burdens, it's a lot of work, it's very busy. Um, do know that, again, all this hard work is paying off, but do make sure that you're not letting yourself get to the point where you're completely burnt out, completely stressed, completely exhausted. That can happen with the Ten of Wands. Um, but this is more so just a reflection of how hard you've been working, but remember with that Eight of Pentacles, that hard work is gonna be paying off. Then we have the Empress. The Empress is one of my favorite cards in the entire deck. The Empress is a card of creation and abundance. Um, again, this hard work is leading to abundance um, and creation is always great to have paired along with this. This can also be a card of fertility or pregnancy. So if you're hoping to grow your family, the Empress is a great card for that. The next card that we have is the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a card of celebrations, family, friends, reunions. I do see you kind of like resting and recharging, getting to spend time with family or friends this month, which is exciting. There's like a party or a get together or something that you're going to. Um, but there's gonna be celebration and I do think that celebration is related to that Eight of Pentacles and that hard work paying off. So be looking for some sort of celebration in this coming month, Virgo. At the bottom here, we have the hangman. The hangman is kind of stagnant energy. It's waiting for more information before you make a decision. Um, I will say <laughs> waiting is more so the important thing there. So again, I would be careful spending. I'm not saying you're going to have financial issues, but something about money and you just shouldn't spend um, or be very thoughtful spending this month. Maybe even it could be like something small, like you really want this thing and you buy it and then it ends up going on sale. So it would just be waiting and thoughtful with spending. Now moving on to our next column, we're going to talk about anything related to money. So think job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have, really whatever you associate with money, Virgo. The first card that we have is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is an interesting card. If you look at these cups, they're stacked really nicely here, but yet this person is still walking away. And the Eight of Cups is about moving on to something better. So we're going from something good to something better. I do think a lot of you could be getting a new job or promotion or moving to a new company. Again, it's not saying that you have a bad job, Virgo, but we're moving on to something even better, which is exciting. The next card that we have is the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is a card of love, typically, partnership, proposal, marriage, 
Partnership seems to be important though. I feel like there could be somebody almost recruiting you that you've worked with previously who knows you that's saying, hey, come take this job. Um, this could also be the proposal of the new job or from the new company or from the new investment opportunity. It's not always a love proposal. Sometimes it's a business or financial proposal. At the bottom here, we have the King of Wands. The King of Wands is a very bold, powerful card. Some of you could be moving into a position of power or a position of leadership. Um, the one thing to keep in mind with the King of Wands, this is a very charming card. And going into August, you're going to have the ability, Virgo, to really convince people to see your side. You have that ability to woo, that ability to charm, um, and really reason with people. So do make sure that you're taking that to your advantage. Like as this new business opportunity or job offer comes along, you're really going to sway these people. Um, so that's neat to see. In terms of clarifying cards, the first card that we have is the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is news coming in and it leads to speed, action, quick change. So I do think that this is going to be the news of this new job or this new opportunity coming to you. It's going to, you, going to come to you really quickly, much quicker than you actually thought it was going to. The next card that we have is the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of patience, hard work, delayed success. I think for some of you, you think this person was going to come to you sooner, or perhaps you thought this new job was going to happen sooner. It seems like in August it's going to happen now, but that doesn't mean that you haven't been waiting for it prior to this moment. Um, it's like you've been putting in the hard work and you've just been like, okay, when's it going to pay off type energy. Um, but again, it looks like we're at that point in August, but wanted to acknowledge that there could be some patience, some hard work that have led to this moment. At the bottom, we have the High Priestess. The High Priestess is a card of trusting your intuition, trusting yourself. It's a very intuitive card. It's like you know the right answers, you know the right next move. Really trust your gut and again, trust your intuition to move through this. Um, you have again that charm, that woo with that King of Wands where people are going to see and hear you and agree with you. So capitalize on that type of energy. Now moving on to our next column, we're going to talk about anything related to love. So think family, friends, relationship, children, anything that you associate with love, Virgo. The first card that we have here is the Ace of Pentacles. Anytime we have an Ace card, it is a card of newness. In the case of the Ace of Pentacles, this is typically new job, raise, promotion, investment, income. When I see this in the love column, this is typically your parents getting a new job or new money coming into your family or your partner getting a raise, which is very exciting. Um, this is new money surrounding you typically. The next card that we have is the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a card of celebration. Um, we did talk about there's going to be something you're going to be celebrating. This very well could be this new money. This could be a relationship milestone. This is a great card for family, friends, and reunions, though, so definitely get out there. Spend time with your family, friends, loved ones. There is something to celebrate this month, which I love to see. Go out and enjoy that celebration. And at the bottom here, we have the Six of Cups. This is also a card of reunion. So again, I see some sort of gathering, some sort of get together. Make sure that you're there. Make sure that you're part of it, Virgo. Let's see what other messages I can give you here. The first card that we have is the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords, it definitely, there's some movement around you. There is somebody that's not happy with their current situation that's shuffling. Again, this could be your spouse leaving jobs, moving to a new job. This could be your parents switching up money situations. Again, there is some dissatisfaction that's prompting these new opportunities. The next card we have is the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is a wonderful love card. It's a card of romantic love, partnership, marriage, proposal. Um, if you're hoping for a new relationship, this is a great card for you. If you're in an existing relationship, this is a great card for you. This thing that you could be celebrating, it very well could be an engagement party or a wedding. It could be yours or somebody else. Um, if you're hoping to get married or engaged, this is a great card for you, but all around a really wonderful love card with that Two of Cups. 
And at the bottom here we have the Emperor. The Emperor is a card that's very long term. Um, it's a strategic planning type energy. So this relationship again seems healthy whether it's new or whether you've been in it for a while. But it seems to be long term, long lasting. This is also a card of good parenting, so fertility and pregnancy, this is a great indicator for you if you're hoping to expand your family. Now we're going to take a look at our fifth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guide, so something to carry into the month of August. We have the card Space. Space is an interesting card. This is about giving yourself the time and the space that you need. Potentially this could be related to a decision, but in general this could just be the need for some you time, for some quiet time. Um, when we see the space card, it's a good reminder to always take the space that you need. Let's see what messages come under this though for you. The first card that we have is the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is a card of having a lot of different choices, having many different options. When I see the Seven of Cups, this is a very busy card. There's something different in each of these cups. It just indicates a lot's going a lot is going on. So again, don't hesitate to take the space for yourself, the time for yourself, just taking that step back to breathe even. There's like I said, there's a lot going on, many, many different things happening at once going into the month of August. The next card that we have is the Strength card. The Strength card is a good card to have no matter where we are in the reading, but a big meaning of this card is self-love and self-respect. So again, you're respecting yourself, you're loving yourself by giving yourself that time and that space, so don't hesitate to do it this month. At the bottom here we have the Ace of Swords. Any type of an Ace card, it is a card of newness. With this, this is new idea, new conflict, new mental clarity. Um, I do think that as busy as it's going to be, there's just going to be new things continuing to pop up. I feel like this is saying new things being added to the mix of things that are already going on. Um, even more reason to capitalize on that space and that time for yourself. The first clarifier we have for this column is the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a card of friendship and you can see they're standing in a circle here. So this is a circle of support. It's good to ask for help if needed. Um, I wouldn't say like have that shoulder to cry on, but again, having those people that you can lean on and ask questions to and bounce ideas off of. Even ask for help. Maybe somebody can pick your kid up from school one day. Maybe somebody can run an errand for you. Whatever it may be, um, there does seem to be support here for you through this busy month. We already have the Seven of Cups, so we're not gonna go into major detail here, but again, it's going to be busy next few months, so take that time, take that space. Give yourself that self-respect and self-love with all that's going on. And at the bottom here, we have the Five of Wands. This is a card of rivalry, obstacles, challenges. I don't want to say August is going to be challenging, but there's no doubt that it's going to be busy and new things are going to continue to be added into the mix. So just be aware of that. This isn't major fighting, but this is just kind of an indicator of a bumpy road. And really, truthfully, um, Virgo, I believe it's more of a busy road than a bumpy road for you going into August. Just lots going on. Now at this time, I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're going to use the Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them really quickly. But for question number one, we have the Five of Diamonds. This is a number 28 card. That's going to be a yes. Question number two is the Eight of Clubs. This is a number 13 card. That's going to be a no. And question number three is the Two of Clubs. This is a number 26 card. That's going to be a no. So yes, no, no for you, Virgo. We're also going to take a look here. We're going to pull a card from this Healing Stones deck, which is a crystal to keep with you through the month of August. Keep it in your pocket, put it on your nightstand, um, keep it with you at work. Your crystal this month is Fire Opal, which is good for passion. It helps you be spontaneous. It's really like the fire cracker, firework crystal. It's very cheerful, very creative, very passionate. And last but not least, we're going to pull a card from our Healing Notes deck. Your healing note says, live your life from your heart, share from your heart, and your story will touch and heal people's souls. 
Thank you so much, Virgo, for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Again, subscriptions really do help me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. Um, if you feel inclined, I did include my Venmo in the comments box as well if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you again, Virgo, and I hope you have a wonderful August.